Hello, I'm Steve, owner of the Paradise Motel, where just one night will forever change your life. Now, there are rumors of a serial killer in the area, but that's just what those are, rumors. A rumor started by our rival Supreme Motel. They're just jealous of our jacuzzi. I think it's great. I think it's a way for florist voters to demonstrate the things they care about. For one thing, Tyrek and Foss Oil have done a lot of damage to the environment. Good. I know, I know. It's not your room. Don't worry. I'm a taxi driver. I'm used to sharing spaces with strangers. I don't think I will. Besides, it's my room. I've paid for it. Don't worry. I just need your help. With a little problem. Uh-oh. Could be a cop. They're patrolling motels looking for missing teens. Teens like you. Not yet. Anyway. Nothing. Get in the closet and don't make a sound. Not even a peep. Get in the closet and don't make a sound. Not even a peep. Oh, hi, Steve. Oh, you found my little problem. Good. So, yeah, I need your help with that. He, uh... Talked too much. Maybe a little. Hey, see that face on the TV? Soon it will be gone. Oh, now, come on. Let's give our little friend here a nice hot bath. He could use some cleaning up, don't you think? Hmm. I see what you mean. Oh, no. I forgot the soap. No, you don't know what kind of soap is best. Get the cop into the tub and don't try to escape. I'll know if you do. Gonna get pretty steamy.
This might take a while. He's very dirty. Did I hear knocking? Open the door. And keep your mouth shut. Or you'll take a bath too. One more thing. Oh, is Jared here? Does he have enough towels? Jared goes for a lot of towels. Oh, okay then. So, there's nothing I can help Jared with. Phew, what a relief. Oh, I see Jared's watching the boob tube. Is the reception to Jared's liking? Oh, okay, good. Well, tell me if Jared needs more channels. Is everything okay? Make him go away. Now. What's that smell? You guys grilling in there? Fine, but you don't have to be rude about it. Close call. Steve's not a connect the dots kind of guy. Yeah, here, for helping me with my little problem. Now go. Is everything okay? Oh, hi, Jared. Now Steve is dead, and it's all your fault. Oh, I see. I won't get angry if you aren't. Not this time, anyway. Bye, kid.
flipping tire. Just some car trouble, kid. What are you doing out here? You changing the subject on me? Well, if you got any advice, I guess it wouldn't hurt to hear it. Then have at it, kid. What are you? A tire whisperer? Hey, don't stop there. The pump's behind you. You know, you remind me of my son. He's always fixing things. Always breaking things, too. Here. Thanks a lot, kid. Gotta say, I'm impressed. Uh, just my luck. Come on, follow me. Yes? Uh-huh, after what happened in 86? You're damn right I do. Come on. No reason's good enough to kill hundreds of people. It's been a bad summer, really. Sorry. I just have a lot on my mind. With you? Hmm. <laughs> That's all right. No offense. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's just that my son, my adopted son, ran away. Yeah, I guess it can be. But that's not why he left. I... I knew something that he didn't. A secret. And when I told him, he got upset. I told him who his biological parents were, or as much as I know about them anyway. Dangerous people, kid. Very dangerous. They were members of the Black Brigades. Yeah, me too. You know about the attack in 86, right? That's the day I met my son. Yeah, I was working security, hired to protect Iraq at the wall's opening ceremony. Everything was going fine until it wasn't. I barely saw the truck before it crashed into the mountain. Just a flash. Next thing I knew, Rocks were falling on the crowd. It was awful. You have no idea. The screams. Everything was just so terrible. At some point, I, I looked down and there was my son, silent, covered in dust. 
looking up at me. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I picked him up and brought him home with me. I just had to make sure he was going to be safe. I had to. I looked in the papers for months after, searched the missing children reports every day. There was nothing. It's not unusual for brigades to cut ties with family. Truth is, I think they're dead, kid. Killed by those rocks. What other explanation is there? I... I guess I deserve all this. I kept the truth from my baby. Thanks, kid. I appreciate you saying that. I do. Central to Unit 2, do you copy? Over. I should get that. Look, kid. I don't know what you're up to out here. Just promise me something. Turn around and go home, okay? Your parents miss you. Oh, hey homegirl. You're wondering what I'm doing. Just hacking into Super Supper to give everyone in Petri a free burger. Those capitalist pigs need to spread a little wealth around. What about you? I figured you were trying to leave this despotic dump. Good luck with that, homegirl. Well, guess I'll get back to hacking this burger megacorp. You should take a snooze on that gnarly pillow behind you. Gonna need energy for the road. They fight for what they believe in. I can respect that. People say they caused the peak to collapse, but I think that's BS. You? I don't know about all that. I smell conspiracy. Alex, you there? I'm here. There's a receiver inside. Not bad, right? Built it myself. This is safe, Alex. Totally safe, Mr. Ursus. Like always. 
He's a friend. I'm helping him in his club in exchange for info. Info on my bio parents. They were in his club, too. I'm about to switch on the you know what, Alex. And I need to know if there are any uh you know what in the area. Look, I'm gonna level with you. Maybe it's stupid to do so, but I feel like I can. Mr. Ursus has an illegal radio, and he wants me to check on the cops to see where they are. I heard that, Alex. Ain't gonna lie, it has its benefits. Sorry, Mr. Yu, can't help you today. Too busy trying to make it rain beef. No worries, because... Homegirl here on the bus can. Don't worry, yo. It's simple. Even an adult could do it. Go ahead. Turn the scanner on. Whoops. Total cerebral flatulence. Forgot the bats. Here. Just gotta put them in the right way. No sweat. <laughs> now, we gotta check the amplifiers. Open that mofo and flip the switches. We need to listen far, so we'll activate just about all of the amplifiers. We need exactly eight volts to pick up the police radio. That's what I'm talking about. We ready to scan. Turn the dials till you hear something. Signal meters need to be very bright. By the way, Mr. Yu, when are you gonna tell me more about my parents? That's part of the deal. About that, Alex. Uh... Yeah? Will. Yo, you're picking something up! Unit 8, you copy? Alva. Unit 8 here, camped outside the gas station. Not a for now. Over. Keep looking. You got donuts? Alva. Coast is clear, Mr. Yu. They're still at the old spot. Broadcast away. Yeah. Mr. Yu finds spots where he can do his little radio show. You should hear his radio voice. <laughs> Cracks me up, man. Thanks, eh? And, uh, homegirl? Beside, eh? And Alex, make sure you reach out to your mom, okay? I'm sure she misses you. <sighs> sure. Whatever. Thanks, homegirl. Here, for your help. Now, time to give the citizens of Petria free beef! And boom! Oh no! Trojan horse is down! Well, at least 347 people got free burgers. I can live with that. Next up, coming up. Oh well, this is where I get off. Stay fresh, homegirl, and good luck out there.
Uh uh. Chucks isn't open right now. Renovation. Hey, who doesn't? Wow, they are little. Ken, let the kid in. He's harmless. Whatever you say, Chuck. Go ahead, kid. I win! Hand over those bills, Robert. Well, I'm out. Anyone else want a shot at this guy? Aha, uh -huh. not me. Papa Bear's married an air hockey pack for Satan. <laughs> Weaklings, all of you. But what about you, kid? We've got ourselves a contender. Faster three points wins. Let's do this. Got your number. Nah, she just got lucky. Let's see what you got, young blood. <laughs> You're not on the Olympic squad, are you? You're making my day, kid. What can I say? It's all on the wrist, young blood. Don't like it one bit, but you beat me, young bud. Fair and square. Come on, drinks all round. I'm paying. Sure you're not on the Olympic squad? It is, isn't it? Yep, Chucks is our official hangout. Don't go telling the pigs. It's cooler than it looks, young blood. Believe me. Oh, you're not. It's just that John's still living in the past. Chuck, serve this boy a martyr. Here we go. You sure about that, Robert? Our friend here is practically an adult, aren't you? My name is Robert, kid. Nice to meet you. You know, I do believe there's a reason you're here today. <clears throat> Maybe you should push on, young bud. It's getting late. Whoa, young blood. You okay? You look a little funny. Damn, Chuck. What did you put in that drink? The murder? Everything. Kid, wake up. Wake up. You're in Chuck's basement, kid. John and myself carried you down here. Come on, 
I want to show you something. Something big. Welcome to the Brigade's secret hideout. John and I were at the border in 86. The brigades have been around for many years. We have many teen informants. We're hoping one can cross and help us from the other side. The transmitter is one of our biggest achievements. The police are looking for it, but they'll never get their hands on it. We have something special planned for Election Day. Wait and see. Yeah, this. What's the kid doing here, Robert? The kid's political. Besides, aren't we on the lookout for fresh blood? I disagree. You're exactly who should be here. The future. Let me start with a big piece of news. Thanks to Zoe, we have intel showing that Tyrak was behind the collapse. Just like we've always suspected. You're just like us, kid. We tried to end his life that day, but he set off the explosives on the peak. Each year, they set it off to prevent avalanches. Must have set off too much in 86. I have some other big news. I have a plan to rig a Tyrak billboard. We'll attract cops to it by broadcasting a fake signal. When they arrive, boom, we trigger the device. This isn't a huge move, but it's a good start and will send a strong message. Do I have any volunteers? I'll do it, Robert. This isn't who we are. They're sending teens to the work camp, John. Protests aren't cutting it. And Flores sure as hell won't cut it either. Robert's right. We need to attack. Now. Alex, our little genius, will help us rig the device. If all goes well, he can build us something bigger and badder for election day. The kid's out, Robert. He doesn't want to be involved in this. We don't need Alex. We can find somebody else to do this. I'm telling you all. Violence will do more harm than good. Funny, don't you think, kid? Funny because John and his girlfriend were the ones who drove the truck to kill Tyrak in 86. I've changed, Robert. Yes, you have. Look, we should vote and settle this right now. Who thinks the brigades need to be more aggressive? I don't. I do. I do. I refrain. I don't. I don't. I do. Three against three. Let's ask the kid. She's here after all. Mmm, that's why you brought her in. To vote on your side. Incredible. Kid, what do you think? You blew it, kid. I thought you had the makings of a real brigade. Guys, picked it up in the scanner. The police are on their way. We all know what we need to do. Get in our cars and leave calmly. Kid, no need to worry. They'll never suspect you. Hey kid, wanna play? We can put down some money if you want. What can I do for you, kid?
GNN Tyrax Network says they don't exist. But they do. They're working kids to death out there. I knew it. Nothing to see here, kid. <laughs> <laughs> 